Sup, this is Alex Chu. Coming at you with another episode. This episode, uh, I want to talk about my other dream. I know, I know, I do a lot of dreams. I should talk about stuff like Omicron, you know, the new COVID-19 variants, or Donald Trump's, uh, you know, the, the Steve Bannon in DC, uh, what, what is this, uh, uh, his lawsuits about his uh, January 6th insurrection. But you know what? I want to talk about this dream, okay? This dream is about Christine. You know, you ever saw that movie, Christine? You know, the, the horror the horror movie, the, the people killing car. But anyway, before I talk about that, I want to tell you my name is I'm the guy who invented physical mortality rings. These are rings that you put on your small fingers during sleep. You wear them, you, can be, you become physically immortal, you don't age anymore. For example, I'm already 50. In two months, I'll be 51. So I still look pretty skinny, right? Pretty darn skinny. Don't have any... Don't see any muscles on my belly. That's, that means I never really... I don't work out. I never I don't work out. If you go to my website, okay? LiveMuchLonger.com, there's a lot of Amazon customer reviews. Most of them give me 4 star, 5 stars. So if you're interested, you want to look like me when you're 50, livemuchlonger.com, livemuchlonger.com. Link is at the bottom of this video. <coughs> yeah, uh, I got this dream, this Christine card dream, before Donald Trump became president. But in a way, I know it's a, it's a long time ago, but this dream is fulfilling today, okay? I didn't know what it means until, until like Biden's era. It's finally fulfilling today, okay? And it's about the coming of the Antichrist. Anyway, you check it out. Okay, I got this dream probably in the Obama's era, okay? That was before Donald Trump became president. So in my dream, it was pretty dark. I saw two cars. Both of them are Rolls Royces. Both of them are the Rolls Royce Silver Shadow model. Silver Shadows were produced in the 1960s. All the way to 1970s okay I actually own one of them so I sold that car though but anyway in my dream I saw two Rolls Royces okay one of them the color I believe is the I forgot the color one of them is probably gold or silver or whatever the other one is red it's like bright red you know and the, the background is pretty dark and there's a guy there's a Mexican guy he's sort of chubby I'm supposed to buy these cars from him, right? Uh, in my mind, I know that the uh, the first Rolls Royce, the gold or silver Rolls Royce, okay, that one costs four thousand dollars, and the other one is the red car, the red Rolls Royce. That one costs three thousand. For some reason, I, I I only wanted to purchase the uh, red one, and I said uh, I want to I want to buy this red one for three thousand dollars. And then the Mexican guy said, what? You want to buy both cars for $3,000? And, well, I, I said I want to buy the red car, not both cars, right? But then, you know what? Since he said that, he asked me, you want to buy both for $3,000? So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to test this reaction. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say yes and see what, he, see what he says, right? And I said, yeah, I want to buy both for $3,000. And he said, no way. And I just walked away. I'm like, oh, forget it. You know, uh, th th this guy, this guy's not going to sell me these cars, Rolls Royce car for a few thousand dollars. So I just walked away. But then he, he, he called, he called me. He said, hey, come here. So I, I went back and he said, I'll sell you this red car for $300. I'm like, holy shit, that is cheap. Then, um. I look around the red car. I mean, I look inside. Everything looks very nice. Every, I mean, you know, er, there's no damage. Everything looks brand new. It just looked like mint. It, the car is in mint condition, you know. And then at this point, now the car looks like Christine, you know, fr from that uh, horror movie, Christine, you know. I watched this movie when I was when I was just a boy, when I was only like 11 or 12 year old in, in a movie theater. And everything looks pristine. I mean, it has the, it has the fan tail, you know, it has the red, I mean, it has the white stripes on the fan tail and shit, you know, everything just, now the cars start to look like pristine. 
you know, although it's a Rolls Royce, but it looks it looks exactly like Christine. I was like, but anyway, I, I look inside it. Oh, everything is really clean, you know. The, the red the red sofa and it, I, I look at the dashboard everything is really nice the inside is mint condition you know I mean I cannot complain it's just a really really nice car but then when he pop open when the salesperson pop open the the hood right and I see the engine is missing there is no engine inside this car but at, at the place where they have the engine it has like eight or nine silver wires that attaches to the bottom of the car but it has no engine though but then it looks that the the eight or nine silver wires they look very nice they look like those shiny chrome silver wires it looks like uh, somebody souped it up it looked like a soup up it looked like one of those low riders car you know those show cars where you pop open the hood and everything's all you know, everything is really clean and, and shiny, and it's, everything is chrome. It's, it's like that. It's like a souped-up car without the engine, but it has those chrome silver wires. And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I can bring this car to Peter's place, you know, to have him uh, help me put in an engine or something. But Peter's my, my mechanic, you know. I mean, it's a Chinese guy. I... I uh, me and my buddy, we, we go to that guy all the time, you know, to, to get our car fixed. And, uh, yeah, that was that was the end of the dream. But, <clears throat> interpretation, okay. The, the I saw Rolls Royce because the first car, the first Rolls Royce, okay, that cost $4,000, that's Donald Trump. That's the Donald Trump era because Rolls Royce, you know, is a lux luxury car, you know, it's a luxury car. And Donald Trump, to me, he's very luxurious. You know, he's a wealthy man, you know. And he's always boasting about his hotel, his mansions and shit, you know. So to me, he's the first Rolls Royce, okay. And $4,000 represents four years. Donald Trump served four years in the White House, right? The second car should cost $3,000. But then I, I said, I... I uh, Asked the Michigan guy. The Michigan guy represents the Michigan salesman. He represents the border issue that we have during uh, Biden's presidency, right? So that's the reason why I saw a Michigan guy because we have border issue with Mexico, right? I'm supposed to buy this red car for three thousand dollars, but then the Michigan guy had said, "What you wanna?" You want to buy both cars for only $3,000? And I say, yeah, yeah, what do you think, you know? And he tell me to buzz off. He said, no way, you know? And I think that represents, uh, you know, back in the days when if a president is out of, out of the White House, right? If the president leaves the White House, he doesn't really come back anymore, you know? For example, like, I don't know, Clinton, Bush, Obama, once they left, they always, they, they sort of just disappear. They don't really uh, try to come back and try to, you know, retake the White House. But then, see, when Donald Trump left, right, he doesn't go quietly. I mean, he, right now, every day, I still see this guy on TV. Donald Trump is still being interviewed every day uh, on by Fox News, you know. And he still, he still does lots of speeches around, all around the, all around the nation, right. And to criticize uh, Biden, criticize the Democrats. See, he doesn't. He Donald Trump never. To me, it's like Donald Trump never left. You know. And, and people, all the Republicans, still call him president. You know. So that's the reason why I think the Michigan guy was like, "You want to buy both cars for only three thousand dollars? This means, uh." See the three the, the second car of three thousand dollars it means Biden's era, but in Biden has only three years, okay? Based on this dream, Biden has only three years. I s it's like Michigan asking me, you wanna buy both cars for only three thousand dollars? This means in these three years, okay, Donald Trump will always try to come back. Will always try to come back. And I say, yeah, and then and then he said, No way, you know. So I think something is going to happen to Donald Trump. They'll try to, the Biden 
Biden administration will do something to Donald Trump. They will silence Donald Trump. And then I walk away, but then suddenly he called on me. He said, hey, don't go away. I'll sell this car to you for $300. And then suddenly the car looks like Christine, you know? Then I look at her, oh, you know what? I saw the movie Christine, right? What, what happened is uh, in, in, the, in the Christine, right? The uh, original owner, the original owner tried to uh, ask uh, Arnie Cunningham for 300 I mean, he said, I want to ask $300 for this car. But I'll sell it to you for 250 But then he did say 300 you know, in the original Christine movie, he said 300 I'm asking for 300 See, that guy came up to me and said, yeah, I'll sell it to you for 300 That's exactly what he said. And then, then the whole, I realized the whole car looks like Christine. So I look around the car, everything was in mint condition, you know, you know, and, and it's, it just has the white fenders and just like, just like the movie Christine, you know. So basically this means, this, this is talking about the birth of the Antichrist. And it, but, but then when he pop open the hood, it has no engine. This portion means, although the Antichrist would rule, right, after Biden, the Antichrist would rule, but then there is no engine, which means America has, at this, at this point, America has already been taken over by, probably by China, you know, and Chinese army seized control, so uh, this car does not even have an engine, but then everything is souped up, everything is like, I saw the engine compartment, everything is souped up, very, very nice, you know, it looks like a lowrider show car without the engine, you know, and I saw eight shiny chrome wires that attached to the middle of the car without the engine, M middle of the uh, engine compartment. This means uh, the Antichrist would set up a network to, to uh, I don't know, to judge people. Because when you see the car Christine, okay, that represents the Antichrist. Because you know the car's driver in the movie, right? The car's driver is Arnie Cunningham, right? See, Arnie Cunningham, AC, right? AC represents Antichrist. And then, you know, the car Christine, it's all about revenge. It's about, it's all about killing the bad people, right? See, if you watch the movie, the, the Christine, you know, during the whole movie, it killed a whole bunch of bad people. So it's all about revenge, you know? And, and that's it. And then I just, after, after that, I just woke up. But yeah, so basically this dream is telling me that Biden's era would last only three years. And then after that, shit would happen. A after that, uh, the Antichrist would take over. Because the guy, this Michigan guy told me he's going to sell the car to me for $300. Just like in the Christine movie. Just like in that movie. Sell it for only $300. And then, and then so the car is mine. And I'm looking, I'm looking inside a compartment. It has no, no engine. That means the United States, at that point, does not even have its own military. It does not have its own military. Because its engine represents power. And without the engine, the United States, it does not even have its own power. So somebody has already taken over. But then it still functions, though. You know, the chrome wires, all the chrome wires, everything, it represents the car still functions. It still looks very neat and clean. It still functions, but it doesn't have its... United States does not have its own power, you know, and this car is about revenge, you know, so that's the spirit of the Antichrist. Anyway, that's the end of the dream.